Hello, it's Hugh from Gaming Brits, and I'm going to bring you today a guide to get to level 70 pretty fast from a low level on a squire. About level 25 to 30, you can do this from a squire, which is lower than most other guides to level at 70. So, uh, here we go. So, first things first, you want to find a game on the multiplayer network that's hosting the ramparts because then you unlock that for your single player if you're low level and you haven't unlocked it already you're going to want to do this then you want to make yourself a private match create your own game there you go then you're going to want to choose ramparts to do which is in the last page of campaign and you're going to want to choose hard. You can do this at level tw 25 to 30, it just requires some different tactics. So you press go there. Ramparts is probably one of the best maps on your own to do it solo, so I recommend this guide. And here we're collecting the chests, and you want to put a slice and dice on this roof here because the wyverns will target it and they'll get attacked by it and die so this is why this isn't recommended for players under level 15 because you can't use slice and dice and you can push a bouncer blockade here but I put it here to be a bit faster although you can put it back a bit if you're lower level which I recommend you can put it up on these stairs here and put a harpoon here to sort out the one of them. Then get all the chests and finally put a slice and dice on the main door here. Quite close because you want it to get over there and done with quickly because that's the point of leveling farm. And then finally press G and get it done with. First wave should be pretty easy no matter what level you're at this tactic soon. And there we go, we've done that round. Now, although we haven't quite finished it because I made a mistake of placing this too far forward so the mage guys don't attack it. So it can't get attacked so you have to go sort him out. Make sure you don't get hit though because that can uh, make your score a lot less at the end of the round. So you sail this one, put a crossbow turret here, facing that way, and then a bowling ball turret behind it. I recommend uh, trying to max a bit of area effect for lower levels because the bowling ball turrets can reach them. And here we're placing a slice and dice in front of two bowling ball turrets. Again, area of effect what it does is it just helps the range so they won't reach the slice and dice which is just safer for a lower level high level your damage will usually do the work so you won't need it and always ex um, always collect all the chests because you want all that mana and I tend to put a crossbow up here because I've had wyverns get over and attack the crystal and that ruins some of your score so you always want to be careful and you do have enough score to do that. Collect all of the mana that all the mobs dropped and here I sold it accidentally, I shouldn't have done that because you can keep that there to stop the uh, jumping guys getting to your bottom ball turrets and just hitting them from behind. So that's a good tactic to use that I found out doing this quite a few times. And just here two bundle turrets behind the slice and dice they were a bit far away but it doesn't matter because I've got loads of area effect and you're going to want to check some items maybe, although they'll probably be a bit high if you're doing this on a pretty low level and you're going to put a, want to put a harpoon here just to clear out and be sure that you're going to kill all the wyverns especially at a low level I've done it with one before, but I just like to be sure, it doesn't waste too much time. And there we are, done that wave pretty fast. And with the, this is 
the last level you really need to do anything too much. And there we go, I'm level 66 and I got a level up just from the second wave, which is quite good. And if you're a low level, I recommend up, um, upgrading this slice and dice at least twice for the ogre because it can get pretty low. And repair in between rounds because you need to do that if you're low level because it will go down and the ogre will be able to get through. And I recommend that if also if you're low level, completely just play with your friends for a while, get to level 25, You use this, but while you're playing with your friends, try to pick up items that are well, well spec'd for turrets. So also put this barricade here if you're low level, just so they can't hit your harpoon at all. Don't think it's necessary, but no harm. Also upgrade this slice and dice I missed there, <laughs> and there we go. You might want to also upgrade slice and dice on the roof, which I didn't do, but I don't think I've ever had to do that, so I wouldn't. There we go, where you've completed. Now, although this isn't meant for mana farming, at low level this can get you an insane amount of mana for a low level anyway, which is why I used it pretty low and you get like, you can upgrade your items more than all your friends and your friends will be asking how you did it. And uh, it's a pretty good method. So, definitely recommend you to try it out. And just go around, collect some of the items, collect all the mana you can, collect items you need, and uh, finally return to Tavern. And we'll see how much mana we earned from just that. And that was about 700,000 mana, which is uh, pretty significant at a low level. It's not bad mana farming methods for like level 70s, not level 74s though, because you can get billions. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.